off the pad and clearing the tower for the first time ever. Booster after chamber pressure is nominal. SpaceX's Starship, the largest, most powerful rocket ever built, soared over the Gulf Coast. Crowds cheering on Thursday's critical test flight. What a sight from the ground cameras at Starbase. But just a few minutes in, it quickly became apparent something was wrong. The rocket failed to make it to the second stage. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is, uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. And within moments, a massive sky-high explosion. Starship just experienced what we call a rapid unscheduled disassembly. An exciting end to the Starship inaugural integrated test flight. SpaceX says the craft experienced multiple engines out, and it, SpaceX, activated the flight termination system, self-destruct, to both booster and ship. In a statement, the company says it has learned a tremendous amount about the vehicle and the ground systems that will help us improve on future flights, something Elon Musk suggested could happen in a few months. Back in 2021, Musk talked to me about his hope for Starship. We need to get Starship operational in order to uh, have a base on the moon and be able to send people to Mars. Musk, who would like to see a colony set up on Mars, says taking humans to another planet is the ultimate goal. Watching all of it closely, NASA, which hopes to send four astronauts on a lunar orbit next year on a different rocket. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson says the rocket tested Thursday would deliver Starship to lunar orbit, where within the next few years, a crew would rendezvous with that rocket and go on to a SpaceX lander putting the first woman and next man on the moon's surface. Nelson called Thursday's test flight a success. Some things didn't work. They'll correct that. They have a new, more sophisticated rocket. In a couple of months, they'll launch and they'll be successful. Tom, you know, we're just sitting here looking at this. Everyone knows you do learn from your mistakes, no question about it. But is this is a little bit of spin here? I mean, the rocket exploded. They'll certainly learn a lot of lessons, mm -hmm. but presumably would have been better if it hadn't exploded. Absolutely. A rapid, unscheduled disassembly is not the way you things want you want things to go. Listen, there is some spin here, but it is absolutely also true that this is the largest rocket ever built. It's got 33 engines. They've never done anything this complicated before. And by the way, NASA itself and SpaceX have had a lot of rocket failures over the years, and they do learn from those failures. And so the, the difference here with SpaceX is they build those rockets right there on site. They've got three more ready to go. And so it's better to learn your mistakes now, learn your problems now, fix them before you put humans on board. So they are going to learn something from this, absolutely. And mm -hmm. listen, you cannot argue with SpaceX success over the years. No, and trial and error. I mean, it's a tried, mm -hmm. and, true, yeah. tried yeah. and true method of yeah. learning. So good for them for having the courage to get mm -hmm. out there. All right, Tom, thank yeah. you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.